Hey guys! Okay, so today I am going to be sharing with you how I get my hair to like lay flat like this when I don't want volume. So I'm going to walk you guys through step by step how I achieved this wash and go. Um, a few things though before I start. One, even if you do like volume, personally, this is kind of like what I like to do to my hair so that when I do fluff my hair, I still get a lot of definition and I'm able to get a lot of hold for a long period of time. Versus for me, if I have volume on day one, my hair is going to be huge on like later on through my wash and goes. And I don't really like that only because my hair will get really, really tangled. So um, if you aren't into this look this still might be beneficial for you because like I said this is normally what I do or the way that I like to apply my products so that my I can have a really long wash and go two really really quickly before you speed through this video I just really want to say that when I did my poll I was a little bit I did a poll on Instagram and asking you guys do you prefer your hair to have volume or to lay like a little bit flatter like this I shared a video with my hair kind of looking like this and a lot of you asked for a tutorial. So I just want to first say that I hope that you guys prefer your hair, that you genuinely prefer your hair to look like this and you're not seeking to conform to any type of societal norms. As like what I'm basically saying is I hope that you like your hair like this and you're not doing it because society told you so. Honestly having big beautiful thick voluminous hair is beautiful and um that's kind of like all i really want to say on that i actually have deep dived on this topic in another video i will leave it linked down below but i kind of talked about my experience growing up mixed race and the relationship that i had with my hair so again if you prefer your hair this way because you like it this way not because society has told you your hair looks i guess more attractive this way or just beautiful this way then I am going to go ahead and show you guys how I achieved this look okay so I'm first starting out on wet hair I actually had to go wet my hair in the sink so that's why there is some frizz it's not all a hundred percent like soaking wet but I do have my spray bottle handy, so I will be making sure that my hair is pretty wet. Fun fact, I usually do my hair right in the morning, so that's why I look tired, so forgive me. <laughs> but I am first gonna start out with sectioning my hair like I always do. It's really important that you take small sections and that'll give you the best results. So I'm wetting down my hair with my spray bottle definitely this is just the major key making sure your hair is almost like soaking wet and free of tangles so if your hair is drying make sure to re-wet it with a spray bottle that'll definitely help your curls to lay a lot flatter and you won't get that frizz if you experience frizz so next i'm going in with a leave-in conditioner you want to use something that's really moisturizing preferably a little bit on the heavier side so i am using the pure avocado moisturizer from curl mix this is in the hair growth uh, formula and in the watermelon fragrance i really really love this one so you want to make sure your hair is really saturated with your leave-in conditioner and then on top this is really important make sure you have a gel with some strong hold so i am using the pure flaxseed gel from curl mix again in the hair growth formula in the watermelon fragrance and i am breaking this through my hair if you guys saw my previous video i did a more in-depth deep dive on how to rake product through your hair i recommend you check that out if you're not too familiar with this technique but this will help clump the curls together and that's really what you want you want the curls to clump up together so that they won't frizz and separate and create that like poofy look so yeah so i'm going to repeat the same steps through the rest of my hair but if you guys are curious about curl mix this month only ending in a few days hopefully you can catch it i have a 20 percent off coupon code it is going to be expiring in a few days but if you wanted to check out curl mix i highly recommend but i am showing you guys a close-up to show you what your hair should look like it should really be saturated with your leave-in conditioner 
and your gel. You want it to look like this. If it looks frizzy, you need to wet your hair or apply more product. This is kind of what you want the hair to look like. So you definitely need to be heavy handed here. And I wanna show you guys what it looks like with the product and without the product. Again, just to kind of give you guys an idea. But after that, I am going to allow my hair to air dry. I find diffusing creates frizz, so I air dry. I have a video on that as well if you're not sure, but I air dry and keep my hands off, and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like all dried. So this is my hair dry. This is what it looks like. So it is a lot, I guess, flatter than what I normally wear. Um, you guys know I really like to have a lot of big volume, but this is definitely a more controlled hairstyle it is crunchy it did dry with a cast and that's kind of what you want you want a cast because if you break that cast is where you're gonna get volume so that's what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna break my um, volume like I'm gonna get some volume I, I personally don't like my hair to feel crunchy like this I don't like it like this I prefer my hair to feel a little bit softer a little bit more touchably soft kind of you can definitely fluff your hair out from here and that's normally what I tend to do anyways so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you feel like your hair isn't beautiful the way that it is I'm here to tell you that it is beautiful maybe you're not exactly where you want to be on your hair journey but it's called a journey for a reason Reason. your hair will not transform overnight um, I've shared with you guys my hair journey so honestly just have I hope that you can have confidence in your being who you are your heritage your culture um, it is a really beautiful thing and it makes us all very unique so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions please leave them in the comment box down below and I will catch you guys in my next video bye